Stomach worms are a significant cause of production loss in lambs. The sheep pick up the infective larvae while grazing. The ingested larvae then mature in the digestive tract of the sheep, mate and lay eggs which are passed out onto the pasture in the faeces. This is how the life cycle completes, with the eggs hatching into infective larvae and swimming up onto the leaves of the grass to be eaten by more sheep. In order to control these worms, over the last 60 years, sheep farmers have used anthelmintics, also known as wormers, to kill worms in the digestive tracts of the sheep. To kill worms, there are lots of different products on the market, but the commonly available ones all belong to just one of three classes. These are class one, the benzamidazoles, or white wormers. Even though not all of these are white in colour, some are off blue or pink. Class 2, Levamazole or yellow wormers. And class 3, the macrocyclic lactone or clear wormers, which are available in injectable or oral formulation. There are also two relatively new classes of wormers, which are class 4, Zolvix, and class 5, Startect. When a population of stomach worms inside a sheep is exposed to an anthelmintic, a small number of worms can survive the treatment that should normally kill them. These are what we call resistant worms, and they pass their resistant genes onto their offspring. Therefore, the more frequently we treat the sheep, the more often we select for resistant worms. This is why it is important to reduce the amount of unnecessary anthelmintic treatments that we give to our sheep. A good example of this is not treating adult ewes for stomach worms unless there is a demonstrated need. That means the worms do not usually have a negative effect on them and treating ewes simply selects for the resistant stomach worms, ensuring that all the eggs being passed out onto the pasture are from resistant worms. Worms that are not exposed to anthelmintics are what we term as refugia. These are worms on pasture and worms inside in sheep that are not treated with anthelmintics. These are important in terms of maintaining susceptible populations of stomach worms on the pasture so that we can continue to have effective anthelmintics with which to treat our sheep. Effective drenching techniques are critical in ensuring that anthelmintics or wormers have the best chance of killing the worms present in the sheep. The steps to ensure effective drenching are 1. Ensure that the product is within its use-by date and shake the product vigorously prior to opening to ensure it is properly mixed. 2. Calibrate your dosing equipment. Ensure that your dosing gun is delivering the appropriate amount of product. 3. Don't just guess the weight of the sheep. Weigh a sample of the largest sheep and treat all the sheep in the group according to the weight of the heaviest in the group. Use as per manufacturer's instructions. 4. Ensure that each animal completely swallows the anthelmintic by applying the product over the back of the tongue. 5. Test the efficacy of the anthelmintics periodically to ensure that they are killing at least 95% of the worms present. This involves comparing a pre-treatment faecal egg count with a post-treatment faecal egg count. For yellow drenches, class 2, it means waiting 7 days post-treatment before taking the post-treatment faecal sample and for white and clear drenches, classes 1 and 3, this means waiting 14 days post-treatment. Another potential source of resistant worms can be bought in sheep. It is important that when buying sheep or bringing sheep onto your holding from another holding that you take steps to eliminate any anthelmintic resistant worms that those sheep may have. This can be achieved by treating sheep with an anthelmintic that is known to be effective even against anthelmintic resistant parasites. These are class 4, Zolvix, or class 5, Startect. Either of these can be used in conjunction with Levamazole, or in the case of Zolvix, it can also be used in conjunction with class 3, Macrocyclic Lactones. It is important to understand that even though these products will kill the worms in the digestive tracts of the sheep, these worms will already have laid eggs which will be working their way out of the sheep in the faeces. 
In order to prevent these eggs from contaminating the pasture, it is recommended that sheep are housed for 48 hours after treatment before being turned out onto pasture on which sheep have been grazed recently. Contact your Chagask advisor for more information.